Hey Pisces, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do the Lionsgate edition. So what is kind of the food for thought for Pisces during this Lionsgate? You know, kind of like a little holiday. And I know there's other portals and other stuff, but Lionsgate is the one word I always wind up messing with my hair. <laughs> so just comment don't do it so here we go one two three Pisces what are we kind of looking at what are we holding on to what are we kind of um heck or high water holding on to well you're also not walking away from something but why you feel like there's opportunity there Will it be for nothing? I don't think so. I think, you know, there's clarity that has to come out of it and you're not at clarity point yet or someone isn't offering the information that you need or dare I say phrasing it in a way that's actually going to be helpful to you. Um, you know what I mean? It's like you're getting it, but it's like you're like, I just, you know, you're not saying it the way I need you to say it. And I'm not saying you have to get like that control level about it, but you're like, I know there's something there. Just come on, just give it to me. Just do it the right way, please. So this could also, I'm not going to say force you to, but kind of um, make you kind of look at how you approach things, how you, you know, you see the possibility and stuff, but... You know, are you kind of, um, I'm not saying you have to let go of stuff, especially with the sun being there. It's like, I feel like this all finally comes together. It's just, it's not being packaged in a way where you, you get it. You know, um, I always think of like the notebook where Ryan Gosling is like, what do you want? And Rachel McAdams is like, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? Um, so there could be, I'm not calling it frustration, but you know that it's in there. Whatever nugget is in there. And you'll free it up. You'll get there. You know, like I said, somebody just might not be gung-ho to say it the way that you're like, oh, okay, I get it. But, like, you're sticking in. So, Pisces, like, good for you for having your listening ears on. <laughs> Bigger person than I sometimes. So, we have the Knight of Cups reversed with the Hermit. I honestly feel like this is somebody else needs to figure it out. Somebody kind of needs to kind of, you know, use your words. <laughs> but they need a minute. And I mean, I think you're willing to give that minute. But also, you know, people say that this is the hermit going up to the mountains to think. And then this guy's up here trying to look for his little star. So I think whatever situation it is outside of yourself, they're trying. You know, but it's like, use your words. Let's free this up, you know, do things the right way. You know, I mean, you're kind of, you see the glimmer. So good for you for seeing the potential in something. I feel like it does come around. I don't think it's going to go as fast as you might want it to, but like it does finally like break, you know, like the clouds clear a little bit. Now these are astrology cards and they are, I'm not using them the way that they should be used, but I'm using them more as an oracle. So what Sign, house, planetary happening. What can Pisces think about? Two, three, okay. Pisces, Pluto, your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. Okay. I feel like, you know, you're not going to leave this other situation on the platform. But, and this is if, if this is you translating it and being like, this is what it needs to be. This is what it needs to look like. You are going to be able to free yourself up from it. So yeah, go ahead and transform. You know, look at that little Phoenix guy doing his thing. So Pisces, that's what I have for you. And I'll talk to you later.